Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Depending on the time and location you are tuned to our channel, thanks a lot for the visit. The grand community now is getting hot and uh, I don't know, some people say that there is a distraction because what we're talking about is verification of document and uh, uh, UAG disbursement hastening and the rest. So this is Epic Foundation, Epic Charity Foundation that Madame Temitope is bringing for me. I don't know. You can drop your comment in the description because some people say it serves as a distraction though it's obvious that this epic grant has been there for a while and they have looted money from masses and Temitobe has come up now to distract us instead of us facing UAG we are now facing epic so just listen to this uh, this uh, reaction and the rest see you on the other side guys drop your comment in the description we pray that something happens soon see you yeah, good day, grand community. Well, uh, is it grand community? Let me call it members of Grand Waiters Association of Nigeria. You know, because uh, we don't pass grand community. Uh, having waited for the past how many years, since uh, 2016 till now, without any grant being disbursed in Nigeria, it then means we are qualified to be members and to be known as Grant Waiters Association of Nigeria, G1. You are welcome. My name is Dr. Zik, and I'm going to address a few issues. This V note is addressing uh, three critical issues uh, within the grant community, which I think is very, very important. Okay. Um, number one, I'm going to be addressing the issue concerning the new grant, which has been introduced to us by Temi Tokwe. I'm talking about Epic Charity Foundation grant, which he recently introduced to us. Now, um, also, I'm going to talk about um, the secret appointment or secret election of uh, the President General of CEOs, NGO CEOs, and Cooperative in Nigeria. And then uh, finally, I'm going to talk, uh, talk about the, the rift between uh, UAG and AGPGN. <clears throat> Maybe I will take um, I, I will take the voice note one after the other. I'll take the first one, which is um, the introduction of a new grant in Nigeria. Now, um, I listened to a voice note uh, just about a day or two ago where Comrade Tommy Tokwe Uluyemi Balogun was introducing a new grant which she calls Epic Charity Foundation Grant. Now, um, I, when I listened to that V-note, uh, it occurred to me to issue a V-note concerning it. I have not issued a V-note in the grant community in the past, but this is the first V-note I'm issuing. And I think it's very important because it's addressing this issue once and for all. Now, um, we have come a long way. And if, Temitokwe, if you have been in the grant community since the time of SEM, you will understand that uh, the issue of getting grant is not a problem in this country. To get a grant, whether genuine grant or fake grant from overseas country, or from abroad it's not a big problem if you give me the next two weeks and you ask me to secure a grant for you from one of these countries abroad i will be able to do that effectively and you have the papers okay so the problem we have in the grant community is not about uh, grant coming in no 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 so when you tell us grant is coming or a new grant has come in we are not elated you know, we are not, we are not, uh, you know, it doesn't cause any joy to us. It doesn't speak anything new to us because we have been around and we have seen a lot of them entering Nigeria. Nigeria is a dumping ground for grant, for goodness sake. So the problem is disbursement of grant in Nigeria. We have hundreds of grants in this country that have entered into Nigeria. Some of them claim that their money have entered into CBN. But this money has not translated into anything good for the masses. 
this money has never left the so-called CBN into the pocket of the people uh, of the poor people for which this grant was meant. Okay, so the, the, I mean, for anybody to come up again to say there is a new grant, honestly, is a disservice to the community. It is a disservice to the members of Grand Waiters Association of Nigeria. Okay, so. The, 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 the issue we should address the issue rather than rather than you know you know putting our hands into new things or into new grants now um mrs Temi, uh, madam temitokwe or comrade temitokwe you have become our comrade so comrade temitokwe now um let me just advise you please and please and please don't allow yourself don't allow yourself don't allow your good work to be dented by the mud of greed and deception, which is the bane of the grand community. No soil your hands in the ongoing fraud, in the ongoing scam. Okay? Nigerians are clapping hard for you for taking the, the good step. So be able to let us know to demand for paper of UAG, to demand that we should know, we should have some, we should see some documentation about UAG. Nigerians are clapping hard for you for taking the bold step in going to committee for the defense of human rights and demanding that Apostle Ken Wakama produce the document of the grant for which he has he has put he has he has, uh, he has mobilized a lot of Nigerians. You know that bold step is, 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 you know, appeals to us is something that I mean you should be celebrated for. So, but the extent you are going to be used by Epic Charity Foundation grant to become their spokesperson in the intention to collect or to to to. to to kind of collect 50,000 each from organizations and cooperatives in the name of a new grant is actually not good. I want you to retrace your step. So I have said it enough. Grant, to organize grant, to process grant, is not an issue. The issue is about disbursement. Let me tell you something you don't know. If I if I enter the Ministry for Humanitarian Affairs and say I have a grant and I have a paper, they will collect it, they will document it. So anybody goes there to find out, you will see it that the document is there, the grant is there. But what is the authenticity of this grant? Did you speak with the donors? Has the donors confirmed that yes, they are the, they are the owner of this grant. They brought this grant to Nigeria. If they have brought the grant to Nigeria, where is the domicile? I don't want us to make the mistake we have made from the time of Sam. Let me quickly tell us what happened in the time of Sam before I move uh, to the other one. The man that introduced Sam grant to Nigeria is a is a lawyer, is a barrister. How will you ever know that a barrister who has studied law, who have gone to law school, can come out to scam Nigerians? But in Nigeria, when you use the name of the Lord, you can easily scam people. And that was why Paul, Paul Kelly, you know, write the song, Stealing in the Name of the Lord. Barista Nona came in 2016 with a 500 billion dollar grant. So he claimed. And he ended up scamming Nigerians to the tune of 55 billion. How did he do it? He came and sold the dummy like they are they have engaged you to do now. He sold the dummy to unsuspecting Nigerians. 
that he has a grant for 33 million Nigerians. That was way back in 2016. And that the money came from World Bank until World Bank came out and denied that he doesn't know anything like that. And then later, he now say it's no, it's no more from World Bank, that it's from some group of, uh, uh, of uh, organizations that have put the money together. And let me tell you, as of 2016, when Donald came with this grant to Nigeria, SEM itself has not been registered. SEM as an organization has not been registered. But he claimed that SEM was a humanitarian organization, was an NGO that is registered and even gave a registration number which was fake. Now, if you go to CAC till tomorrow, the registration number of, 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 of SEM is RC1482556. And it is not registered as an NGO. It is not registered as a charity foundation. It was registered as a limited liability company. Nigerians, we must, we must, we must be inquisitive. Sam started operating in 2016, but he got he got a limited liability Sam Sam registered in 2018. Now, when it was becoming obvious, Sam Donald had a house in Mandala in Abuja. He sold it. He sold his cars, sold other properties, and traveled to Germany. And then from there, they traveled to some other place. Till today, where is Donald? Sam is gone and is gone. He said the money was in CBN. CBN denied that there was nothing like that. He said the money came from World Bank. World Bank denied that there was nothing like that. And that was why the ones, the, the grants that are coming after Sam are very careful. The, the scam that are coming after Sam, they are very careful. They don't disclose the, 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 the origin of the fund. They don't tell you anything about the origin of the fund so that you will not go and find out. They will not show you any registration document so that you will not go to CAC and find out. I mean, so we have learned a lot of lessons from the, that time. From there, we move into Tepecom. Tepecom came. And who are the people in Tepecom? You talk about Elumama. You talk about Asobo. You talk about Professor Nkata. You talk about the 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 uh, 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 the Mwakama. Apostle Mwakama. Those were the people. But he was not. He was an. He wasn't an executive. He wasn't an executive. Of, but he, he played a key role. At least when he he led them. I mean, he introduced somebody. He supposed. Uh, what do I call it? A supposed director of CBN who collected 60 million so that this business can start. Till today, has Tepecom this business started? In the era of Tepecom, I can still remember the issue became a burning issue to the extent that the, the Inspector General of Police got involved, the EFCC got in every People got involved, the presidency got involved, and then they came up and said the telescopy. And the issue of telescopy became another issue. And they were waving one telescopy on the television to tell us that the money has arrived. Hello, Mama, where is the money that arrived that time that you were showing us the telescopy? Till today, the money has gone somewhere which we don't know. They took it somewhere that I don't know not disbursed they even went to the extent he tell Pekon, we didn't went to the extent of tasking nigerians to build what they call disbursement house in abuja what has become of that disbursement house who we'll asked these questions and mama will need to tell us he need to give account of that disbursement house that was built in abuja we are coming to that as of one will have to give account professor kata has to give account But should we allow this to continue? 
And then, not to talk of Tilbert. That came. Through Tiovilos, Tiovilos, a boy. And milk Nigerians dry. They will contribute uh, 25,000. They will contribute uh, 500,000. They will contribute 200,000. To the, all NGOs were milk dry. And the man was living large. Chobat made us to understand that the money is around. He said the money is in Nigeria. And that he will disburse, you know, with a speed faster than the speed of a bullet. This deception must stop. We cannot afford a lot of people committed suicide. The aftermath of, of, of Sam Grant was suicide. Some people lost their lives. Some people lost their family. Some people lost their position. Some people lost their offices. And yet we are today. In 2024, we are still talking about disbursement, which we started talking about in 2016. Don't we have something to learn? Who do us this thing, Nigerians? Why will you introduce another grant at this point? And asking Nigeria to pay 50000 Madam Temitokwe, I give you my full support when it comes to, you know, asking Grand Handler to give account, to show paper, to show evidence before we know how to get involved. The evidence you are showcasing is not enough. That you saw some document is not enough. Nigerians and, and, and foreigners are, 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 you know, colluding to scam Nigerians a lot. If you want fake paper, they can give you from abroad. And it will look at anything we see that is from abroad. That's our problem. Anything we see that is overseas is genuine. Whether the useless drunkard white man sit down somewhere and wrote something and give it to a Nigerian, go to your home and use it to make money. When it enters here, it becomes a big document. And we'll be running after it. That is the problem. Madam Temitokwe, it is not all that glitter that is gold. If the Epic Charity Foundation is, is genuine grant and they have the money and the money is in Nigeria, why are they asking for 50,000? If your money is there and it's in CBN, why are you asking for 50,000 naira? You have millions of money. You have millions of money at your disposal. You are not asking people to give you 50,000. That is the scheme. That is how it has been. That is how Sam did it. That is how Telpecom did it. That is how Tioba did it. Are we not tired? Till today, the so-called Tioba is still is still deceiving Nigerians, and people are going to pay money. Till today, Mama Supreme has started calling people again. He has used one useless man who doesn't know what he's doing. To give a voice note to the effect that she's now ready, everything is now said. She's now in Abuja, she has perfected everything. If you have perfected everything, must you call on Nigerians? And the foolish ones are going, they are moving to Lagos, they are traveling to Lagos to go and meet Mama Supreme. I pity you. For what? We did everything we we're supposed to do under the Supreme Grant, we provided the information. The woman directed us several times that we should go and open an account with uh, with uh, Assets Bank. People went and opened an account with Assets Bank. Those accounts are now money bond. It was left for her to drop money into the account. That was where we stopped. The last time we stopped was the money we were expecting that the, the accounts would be credited. And, and she was telling us she's going to the bank to go and credit our account. They say she has gone to bank to go and credit our account. Till today, years have passed. The account has not been credited. And you are coming again to tell us you are ready. And people are falling for it. And they are running after her. Shame on all of you. If you are ready, is it by mouth? 
If you are ready, let the money drop in our account and we know you are serious. We will celebrate you. We will give you national honor. If you disburse today and the money enters our account without you calling us to come and meet you in Lagos. So that is for, 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 for Madam Supreme. Sure, but every week you are ready. Every week the money is ready. Everything is set. And now, Epic Charity Foundation. And they are trying to use the Mitope Palogun. Don't allow yourself to be used. The Epic Charity Foundation has a director. It has somebody that is pro, 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 I mean, promoting it. He's even a professor. So, prof, come out. Tell Nigerians what you have. Show us the document. And we'll be able to find out. Prof, come out. Don't, don't, don't use our clean sister. Don't try to soil her. Why can't you have the courage to tell Nigerians I have a grant? Come and pay fifty thousand, and I'll give you. Why are you using? Why are you using Temitokwe? So you are trying to leverage on her contacts. Please don't push her to the mud. This muddy water. Of, of 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 scam this muddy water of 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 milking nigerians this muddy water of making the poor poorer don't push her into it come out to tell nigeria show your documents and then we'll believe you not only document we will find out you say the money is already is already around you have finished everything you have done everything we'll find out but nobody will pay one naira until the money drops in our account. In fact, you can deduct from, from, from the grant you are giving us, deduct the 50,000 naira from it and give us the rest. Stop deceiving Nigerians. From now henceforth, I will stand against any new grant that is coming into this country. We will block them. We will block them because we are members of Grant Waiters Association of Nigeria. We are waiting here. We are waiting here in Nigeria for the grant. So bring it. A war is enough for the wise. Thank you.